leadership, leadership in your own life. Why is it important and why is it especially important right now? My name is Gerdy Verwoerd and I help people reconnect with themselves and their ability to be a leader in their own life. And I do that by taking them, by bringing them out of their regular environment and bringing them into the mountains. Because being away from all that is familiar, from all that is causing you stress, gives you an opportunity to look at things literally from a different perspective. Right now, we're living in really turbulent times. For years, decades even, I've always felt that we as a society, we as a civilization, were heading in the direction of where many civilizations before us, Roman Empire is a good example, have gone before. Downhill and eventually into oblivion. Now this may sound a bit dramatic, but just look at what's, been, what's happening and what has been happening, especially in Western civilization. There has been so much ex ex excess, so much division between rich and poor, so much division in the distribution of power, that the balance seems to be gone. And what we as humans seem to have forgotten is that we are just another species on this planet and as a species we are part of the natural world. We seem to think that we can control nature and time and again nature shows us that this is not the case. COVID-19 and other viruses are a good example. We as humans are not stronger than nature. We cannot control it. We can move with it, we can work with it, but control it, no. I believe that balance needs to be restored. I believe that to be able to restore that balance, we need a different kind of leadership, not authentic leadership. Leadership that is not purely power driven. Leadership that comes from a place of empathy. That is not focused on the short term, but keeps, makes their decisions, makes decisions with an eye towards the long term. And not just long term for this generation, the people who are living now, but for all those generations that come after us. And with respect for nature and the planet. Because when nature is gone, we are gone. Let that be clear. So authentic leadership comes from a place of compassion as well. Mindfulness. And is selfless. Now I may be completely wrong, but when I look at most of what we consider to be or what are called world leaders, I don't see that. What I see is leaders who probably with the best intentions have been ruling by decree for the last couple of months, have even been fueling fear. And around me I see people who then have become fearful and who are blindly obeying every rule, every decree that is being imposed. So when I look at that, that doesn't 
to me doesn't seem to come from a place of authentic leadership that feels and seems to be power driven so looking at the people who are leading us and i say quote leading unquote i don't believe that is where we're going to have to look to for, for authentic leadership. I believe it has to start with people like you and me. I believe that we need to learn to be grounded so that we can serve as what you could call lightning rod and to, to siphon off some of all that fearful energy that is going on around the, in the world to restore balance energetically, to be grounded in ourselves, in our essence. And what I mean by that is that we know who it is that we are, that we know what our values are, that we, that we live in a line, in line with those values, that acts in line with those values, and that we make decisions in line with those values that we do so mindful, mindfully, selflessly, compassionately, and with an eye towards the long term. When we are authentic leaders in our lives, Knowingly or unwittingly, we will be an inspiration to people around us. And when enough people are being authentic leaders in their own lives, when we vote authentic leaders into positions of power, then perhaps, not even perhaps, when enough people are being authentic leaders, true to their essence, with empathy, mindfulness and compassion, selflessly, then we can create a different world. But it has to start with us. It has to start with you and me. And perhaps then, not even perhaps, then, places as gorgeous as this will continue to exist, will be protected even better, and will be there for many, many generations to come. As always, go there greatly. Bye-bye.